hello people i'm so glad to be here again after a long break away from youtube this is due to divided attention okay so in today's brief we'll be talking about navdac national agency for food drugs administration control which is the body that regulates and gives licenses for all consumables, cosmetics, drugs, etc. Before they go into the market for people to buy. It's a government organization that ensures that only healthy products free from human harms are put out there in the public. Now this is a disclaimer alert. I am not a NAFDAQ star fool. Neither am I a consultant or their mouthpiece. I'm not. I'm just a bakery owner who is sharing her experience and her knowledge dealing with this organization. This is solely based on my own personal experiences. No NAVDAC sent me. I'm not their mouthpiece. So if you think, if you're thinking of starting a big bakery or any production business, you're going to need a NAVDAC number. Else, some people will not patronize you. Most shops and retail outlets here in Nigeria will not even take your product if it's not registered by NAVDAC. Also, because you don't want to start getting into trouble with the law. Just obey, respect yourself, and wait to get that NAVDAC number. I hear in some states, you can sell without NAVDAC number. But in Abuja, it's not like that though. Except you want to eat that bread all by yourself. Here in Abuja, Abuja is highly regulated. They will fish you out and you will pay dearly for selling without a NAVDAC number. I guess maybe this is because the headquarters of NAVDAC is in Abuja here. So it's very strict. You see that NAVDAC, they are very meticulous. I remember all the back and forth I went through. Any little mistake like this, you will have to change your documents. You have to dot all your I's and cross all your T's. If you fail to submit a particular document that was asked, <laughs> you wait extra weeks again before they answer you. The product you're submitting for testing must follow their specification. And they do routine checks. They do routine checkup at your business premises unexpectedly without prior notice to you. Ensure you are observing all their recommendations. Now that can be somehow I would like to you. <laughs> okay. So to get your product registered, first things first. You must be a registered business with a corporate identity. That's with a corporate affairs. You must be registered with corporate affairs commission. You're going to need your CSC document as part of your NAVDAC registration documents. Also, you're going to need trademark documents. You have to trademark your brand with the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. The last time I trademarked, it was about 50,000 Naira. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm sure. It was 50,000 Naira. It was through a lawyer. You can use the same lawyer that will do your CAC document to also do your trademark. The same lawyer can do it for you. Just ask your lawyer that is going to do your CAC, your, your registration, your corporate affairs um, registration. Ask him if he can also help with the NAVDAC, with the trademark registration. Then also, you must also have a business premises. Yes, before NAVDAC will even listen to you, you must have a premises where you want to do this business. Because they will have to come for inspection of business premises. This inspection for bakery is like twice before you get that golden number from them. After meeting all their requirements, before they come to your place, there are things you should, you should and must have put in place before they come. Things like your equipment, you're going to be, the equipment you're going to be using to produce this product. There are some equipment that are against NAVDAC recommendations. Things like wooden tables are not allowed. It must be stainless steel tops. That's your table must have a stainless steel on it. Even if the leg is wooden, no problem. Or the leg is another metal, no problem. But you see that top where you'll be putting your dough on, it must be stainless steel. In fact, they prefer if all your work wears 
be stainless steel material. They don't want to see milling machine. There's this locally fabricated one that most bakeries use. If they see it anywhere around your premises, your bakery premises, be rest assured that you're not going to get that number. Ah, now that frowns, frowns against it. You see that milling machine, they don't like it at all. Your bakery should be demarcated from your main house or any residential house around. You can either fence it out or use a barricade. No form of toilet is allowed anywhere near the bakery. No fly or insect trapper should be used inside the bakery. Once Navdak see all those things, ah, you have looked for their trouble. They will even answer you. All units or departments must be well labeled for easy identification. This means that at the entrance of your production floor, for example, you must put a name pl plug or a tag with the inscription production boldly written at the top or on the, on the, or on the door, either at the top of the door or on the door. Same goes for the packaging unit, the ingredient room, your clock room, that's the clock room where all your staff goes in to change their outfits. Also, same for the finance unit or the dispatch room. You must boldly write all these labels on the door of, the, of this unit so that Navdak will know which one is the ingredient room, which one is the dispatch room, and so forth. Number five, fumigation certificates. You will need the services of those in charge of fumigation to come and fumigate your business premises, after which they will issue you a fumigation certificate, which will be part of the documents that you will be required by NAVDAC. You are advised to fumigate every three months, even after you get your NAVDAC number. That's NAVDAC recommendation. They advise you to fumigate your premises every three months. Number six, water filtration system. Before they come, you should put a filtration system close to your water source to filter the water you'll be using to produce your bread or produce any other thing you want to be producing and taking out for the public to consume. There must be a water filtration system in place. The water I put in my freezer for production is from a filtered source. This is just to ensure that you're using clean water. Your source of water is very important to NAVDAG. They don't even joke about it. They want to see it. They want to see it in place. Don't say, I will put it. Mm -mm. Before they give you that number, you must put it. They want to know if it's borehole water or water board, or river water, or rain water, because this is something people will be consuming. So they have to be sure that you're using clean water. Number seven, your recipe. Yes, they will ask you to, they will ask to see your recipe. So you should memorize it by heart or have it written down somewhere. The ingredients, the quantity, the name of the manufacturer of those ingredients, they want to see all of it. That is, they want to see the brand name of the ingredients you'll be using. For example, Golden Penny Floor or Dangote Sugar or Better Baker Improver. They want to see it. They will also ask you for the name and phone number of the vendor that you buy your ingredients from. Yes, that's very important to them too. This is because they want to be sure that you're not buying this item from the roadside or from an unhealthy environment. So you see, to get now that number, it's not being so... <laughs> It's not beans at all. It's hard. But it's not that hard. Just follow their recommendations. That's all. And do what they ask you to do. Number eight, food handler's test. You are also required to get a food handler's test document. As part of the document documentations you'll be submitting to NAVDAC. That is, I mean, your baker and your mixer should go for a medical test at any laboratory or a particular laboratory that has been prescribed by NAVDAC. So that they can get their blood drawn. They test for hepatitis or any other contagious disease that could be transferred from one person to the other. After this is done, they'll be issued a certificate of clearance. That's from the laboratory. The laboratory is meant to issue you a document to show that, yes, these people are free from any contagious disease. That will, that will not be dangerous to people medically. NAVDAC will also ask you for the passport photograph and the qualifications of these people that are working with you. That's your baker and your mixer. Number nine, ensure that your bakery is well netted. The window, the doors must all have nets to prevent flies from coming into the bakery. So by the time you have all this in place, you can now walk majestically 
hmm, into NAVDAC office and ask for a registration by filling and if you fill an official registration form with them. After which, you'll be asked to submit at least two samples of your product. This product will be taken to the NAVDAC laboratory for testing. NAVDAC will take it from you. They will take it to their laboratory to go and test. When all this is done, all you need to do is go home and sip tea, relax, and keep your fingers crossed, hoping for a positive feedback or a negative one. I know of some people that got denied. <laughs> they went back to the drawing board, put all their documents together again, and resubmitted, and resubmitted their request. And today, they're all smiling. They all have their NAVDAC number. NAVDAC Abuja, Abuja NAVDAC. <laughs> it's like small witchcraft. Ah, it would just be as if they are witch hunting you. Or like they don't want you to progress. <laughs> but when you now look back, you appreciate their efforts. Because if not, if they don't do all those kind of things, the kind of nonsense product you'll be seeing out there in the market, eh? the ones that will harm you, you know, the products that will be harmful to one's health. You just keep thanking NAVDAC uh, for what they do. You'll be telling them thank you for being this meticulous. It took me three to four months to eventually get that number. You see that number? It's not an easy number. It's not a number you just come down, just tell you, I'll give it to you. I have, exper I have experienced so many back and forth with them. Go and flow, go and flow before they eventually, before I eventually got that number. Another advice, please avoid people that claim to be NAVDAC agent though. They will promise you that under one or two weeks, they will get you NAVDAC number. And you should just, uh, they, will, they will not tell you, just pay them, say like 250 or 300k or even 100k to get NAVDAC number. Avoid them because many of them will just go and bring one fake number and claim his NAVDAC number. Do you understand? The genuine NAVDAC number takes time. It takes months. It's not something of one week or two weeks because they have to come for inspection. They have to take your bread to the laboratory. And it comes with an official NAVDAC certificate number. It's NAVDAC certificate that has the name of your company, the size of the product that NAVDAC uh, uh, did their test on, your NAVDAC official number, the expiring dates of that number. Also, NAVDAC will come to your premises, your premises to inspect. They will come like two times to inspect. They will come and they will recommend and they will visit again to ensure that your recommendations, those recommendations they gave you, has been put in place. No go enter one chance. As many, <laughs> no enter one chance. So, as many Nigerian people say it, you know, no enter NAVDAC Wahala. Their office is free for everyone. In a public place. So you can walk in there and make your inquiry. Start your process all by yourself without the help of anyone. Like I always say, another disclaimer, I am not a NAVDAC official at all, by no means. They did not employ me. Neither am I their license agent. I'm just giving you my own two cents based on my personal experience with them. Okoya, you understand? Don't worry, I'll also show you a picture of my NAVDAC certificate so you see how it looks like and some other requirements that you will need. So please, if you like this video, don't forget to like and leave me a comment. I like to see and read all of your comments. They give me joy. Subscribe if you haven't. I love you all and bye for now.